<laughs> Hi, Paul. Hello. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Fantastic. I'm excited that you're sitting down with us and chatting with us a little bit. So tell us a little bit about what got you into dancing because you, you've come in on your own, right? Yep. Yeah, I dance solo. Uh, I do private lessons. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was looking for years for a dance studio. I, when I was young, I did uh, musical theater and a lot of the arts and stuff. And then, you know, got out of it and really missed that kind of stuff. So I ended up driving fast one day for work. Saw the studio and decided to come in. So, yeah, it's been really good. Cool. And uh, what um, what is your favorite type of dance? Like, do you like more the Latin dances, the ballroom dances, a specific type of dance? Yeah, my favorite by far is the waltz. Um, I enjoy the. Uh, started learning a little bit of the Viennese, and I'm really interested in that. Uh, what is it about waltz that uh, just that the, calls to you? It's just the gliding and the. And the um, it's just a more romantic dance. And, mm. and, the Latins are really fun and they're really high energy. Uh, I just find that you don't see the waltz anywhere anymore, so you know, it's always been really intriguing to me. So you like kind of being outside the box kind of thing? Oh yeah, yeah that's oh. pretty much been my life. <laughs> so what's been your favorite thing about uh, dancing or taking dance lessons? You also perform actually, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I've... So you take part in things like showcases and competitions. Yeah. So. Obviously, there's a performance element that really attracts you. Of course. Yeah, I've done a handful, of, I think probably four showcases by now, and uh, I did one uh, competition in Montreal last year. And yeah, it's just, it's such a great charge to it. There's a whole energy to, uh, to when you're on stage and having everyone watch and everyone celebrating and then clapping along and everything. It's, it's a lot of fun. It gets you out of your comfort zone that you might have like locked yourself in. And, uh, it's a great stress relief too. I, mean, I came from a, you know, a very high stress job and really physical and come here and always smiling. And you know, once you start dancing, it really alleviates, alleviates all of that stuff. Great. So, um, in the spirit of our series, The Dancing Days of Christmas, what would you say has been the greatest gift that dancing has given to you over the past couple of years? Uh, again, I, I gotta say that the stress relief and the uh, com what's that word? Uh, camaraderie between the people that come in here, it's all different age groups uh, that are interested in dancing and it's never never really a dull moment, which is nice. So you don't know what to expect when uh, what song's coming on or who your partner's gonna be, especially being a solo dancer. Uh, I don't typically come. I come stag to a lot of the socials and everything, and you know, I never, never have a, have a lot of time to just be sat alone. So it's nice. So we literally keep you on your toes yeah, this, sometimes, so to speak. Yep. Yeah. Uh, tootsies kind of uh, fall off by the end of the night, but that's the fun of it. That's fantastic. Well, thanks so much for sharing, Paul. Thank you very much.